Hi, this is Glenn Rott with EuroSafety. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about picking up and setting down the AS350. For a lot of people, when they first learn this helicopter, one of the hardest parts about transitioning into this airframe is learning how to pick it up and set it down smoothly. Not that it's terribly difficult, you just have to know the proper control inputs to put in. Now, first of all, let's talk about how the helicopter hovers so you can understand how you transition from level on the ground to that hover. You'll notice that the helicopter hovers right skid low. Now, the reason for that being is your tail rotor is moving the helicopter to the left because of the thrust it's putting out. To counteract that, you put in right cyclic, making the right skid dip low. So you're kind of always in a turn per se, or a sideways movement in the helicopter, but that tail rotor is kind of keeping you right at that position. So since you're hovering right skid low, if you make big pedal movements, then the thrust of the tail rotor is going to increase, decrease. So increase, decrease, increase, decrease. So it kind of gives you that kind of unstable feeling. Um, Generally, what people do then to counteract it is they start moving the cyclic rapidly, which further makes it feel very squirrely or unstable. So one of the first things you have to learn when flying this helicopter is very little control input is necessary in order to make the helicopter do what you want. If you just stop moving the controls, you'll notice the helicopter is extremely stable and it'll just hover right there. But if you constantly try to move the controls around, you're going to uh, cause the unstable attitude of the aircraft. But let's go back to picking it up and setting it down. Now, you notice here, as we're picking up the helicopter, the right uh, skid, uh, right aft portion of the skid, is the last thing to leave the ground. In the cockpit, in order to make that happen, what you do is you take your cyclic, and prior to liftoff, you put it aft and to the right. Now, as you start lifting up collective, it's going to start getting light on the left forward portion of the skids. When it starts feeling light right there, the trick is to continue to move the cyclic forward and left while continuing to pull up on that collective. And that timing is going to be imperative for the smooth pickup and set down of the helicopter. So as you're bringing up collective and you're adding forward cyclic, the last portion of the helicopter to be touching the surface is going to be that right aft portion of the skids. Now, when that leaves the ground, a lot of people have a tendency to do a hard movement to the right and then back to the left and making it kind of slam down. And so you want to really try to avoid moving that cycling back to the right um, as you pick it up. Now, setting it down is the exact opposite. Your cycling is actually going to be forward and left and your collective is going to be up. So as you come down, the trick for this is to just lower the collective steady all the way down. Now, if you start falling out a little bit, you just stop moving the collective. What we've learned in other helicopters is to move the collective up and down to try to find that right position. But again, what that's going to do is it's going to make the helicopter move uh, back and forth. So when you lower the collective in order to land, if you just keep moving it in the same direction, very slowly, all the way down, you have a really nice smooth touchdown. On the other hand, if you keep uh, moving the collective up and down, you'll have one of these bouncing back and forth landings on the landing gear. So as you lower the collective and smoothly take it down to down stop, you add aft cyclic as the skid touches the ground and you make contact. I hope that clears up any misunderstanding on how to land and take off the uh, A-Star, and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.